watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we are going to be doing another Super Sack Saturday where I show you a Swiss Army knife. Uh, I hope everyone will join in on the open tag where you show a Swiss Army knife on Saturday. Tag your title with Pound Super Sack Saturday and I'll definitely come and check it out. Leave a comment. So make sure you do that. Okay, so we're looking at the Spartan today and not just any ordinary Spartan. We've got the ones with the hardwood scales. So this is kind of a first for me. I don't have any with the wood scales, but this is a 12 function knife, sort of the core of which uh, the 91 millimeters are based. And then all the other knives are sort of a derivative of this, but you get the limited life, well, not limited, lifetime warranty there. And then made in Switzerland, the original Swiss Army knife. On the back, you get the function listing. You get the large blade, the small blade, the corkscrew, the can opener with the small three millimeter screwdriver, which can also be used as a Phillips driver. The bottle opener with a larger screwdriver, which is six millimeter, the wire stripper, the reamer, the key ring, the tweezers, and the toothpick. So all your 12 functions there. You can see this is model number 56603, the Spartan in Hartwood. The European number there is 1.3601.63 which I typically use in my title for people to find all the different uh, models of Swiss Army knife reviews that I do. But yeah, pretty standard type packaging. Didn't come in the, the little silver box this time. But this is a 91 millimeter design, if you're not familiar with Spartan. And it's two layers. Uh, closed length in inches is 3.6 thereabout. And we get these awesome hardwood scales on this one. So they must have like burnt that in there. They do such a fantastic job. Look at that, Sh you know, the shield on there. Just awesome. And look at the wood. I'm really impressed with the way the wood looks on this. And now this is the first one I've gotten with wood scales. I have been wondering what it would look like. Thought this would be a good model to try out. I know I paid uh, $34 for this one on DLT trading. So got a good deal on it. And I feel like, you know, the price was, you know, close to what you would normally pay for a, for a Spartan. Not too much over, a little bit over, but not too out of line with the normal Celador one. So, good value in the, you know, sort of upgraded handles here over the plastic. But I think it's really attractive. You can see they match really well on both sides. And just makes for a really classy looking knife. And they still have the still have the tools on the scales, so you don't lose that just because they're wood, like you do with the Alox models, and you get the tweezers on the front. And they slide right in there. Nicely. You can see how that's contoured. You never you never not know what direction the tools go, because they let you know with the coating and the the way they're contoured at the end. There's your Q, or sorry, your toothpick. I'm gonna say Q-tip, I don't know why. And there you go. So there's the scale tools, which you still get. Then your key ring, and the two bottom layer tools. Let's take a look at those first. We always look at the top layer first, not today. So there's your corkscrew. And you can see it's nice and clean in there. Brand new knife. But very good tip on that. Works very well for wine bottles. Good snap on it. Pull is probably about a six. Six and a half. Then your all blade. Reamer. Of course this wonderful little cutout there. That allows for that swedge. Or wedge, I should say. Wedge style blade. Very there you got a point on there that's going to penetrate anything you need, leather, whatever. And it always seems to be very well lubricated in there. Good snap on that. Maybe not quite the pull that the corkscrew has. I'd say that's more of like a five. But there you can see the width of it. I would say these scales are maybe just a touch slimmer than your Celestor scales would be. Um, not by much. Huh? We're talking fractions and fractions of an inch there but you can see that is just slightly over half an inch but very nice the way they've done the grain the 
it just look really nice. Look like, you know, pretty decent quality wood that you're using here. So let's take a, took a look at the top layer here. There's your main blade. Now you can see that tumbled finish. Not exactly mirrored, but you know, you do kind of get a little bit of a mirrored effect if you angle the blade just right. There's your tank stamp, newer one, Victorinox, Swiss made, stainless. And then on the back, Officer Suisse. And a look at your blade edge there. Very, very consistent. Very, very good. Just do a fantastic job there. And for anybody wondering, I did not cut myself. No, I actually was bit by my dog again. He's been a little bit naughty lately. I think he was just tired. Messed with him at the wrong time. But there you have the other side of the blade. And really good pull and snap and walk and talk on this. At about a five and a half, and that leads into about a seven as we get there, and then falls into the snap. Pretty consistent with all the other 91 millimeters that I've had. Let's take a look at the blade length. You get a almost two and three quarter inch blade, just shy of that. Maybe by a sixteenth. And then your cutting edge is just slightly over that two and a quarter inch mark but shy of two and a half, so we'll say a sixteenth beyond two and a quarter. But yeah, really like the uh, the way that Victorinox does their blades. You know, we were talking about the Beag the other day, and I was like, you know, if they can figure out how Victorinox does it, you can have that lighter pull at the beginning, and then it snaps, you know, a little more firmly. So yep, does a really fantastic job. But, yep, fantastic main blade. The spear point's just so versatile. It's just a fantastic choice for Swiss Army knife. And then your secondary blade, little pin blade here. Let's take a look at the uh, edge on that one. Let's go this way. I seem to get a better reflection this way. There we go. Nice grind there on that one. Very consistent all the way through. And again, that tumbled finish on the blade. Now, this tang doesn't have anything, but we have pretty consistent five pull throughout on that one. Stakes put. Very useful blade for smaller tasks, opening up, you know, smaller packages, that sort of thing. You got a box of, uh, you know, cough drops or something. Those can always be kind of tough to get <laughs> the packaging all that plastic off of there. Those are really good for smaller packages like that and just smaller tasks. But yeah, I'm just astounded by how well these handles look. I was actually going to try something on camera for you guys uh, once we get done with all the looking at all the blades. But here we have the smaller three millimeter tip with the can opener. And you can see the sharp edge on the interior of that just as a fantastic job of getting rid of any of the metal in your way when you're opening the can but no house top on this side but good pull say again about a five five and a half maybe just a little firmer here at the end kind of like the main blade but again tumbled finish on that really nice and you can also use that tip like i said on the back there for uh phillips it fits well inside. Just have sort of like a two contact point for your Phillips. And then on the other side, we'll get the half stock six millimeter screwdriver blade with the wire stripper or wire bender and the cap lifter. One of the best in the industry for lifting up bottle caps. And that one snaps quite well into place. A little more firm like it usually is. When it snaps into place, it's about a 7 to 8. And you can hear the action on that. Fantastic. So, just another great uh, tool set. And like I said, it's kind of the core of what Victor Victorinox offers. This is kind of where all the others are derived, right? 
start getting into the variations, whether it be, you know, adding a layer for scissors, adding a layer for a saw, adding the Phillips screwdriver on the back instead of the corkscrew. Then you get the three layers and you get the parcel hook, sort of the, the basis for all other 91 millimeters. But I really like these scales and I thought, you know, maybe um, they should be treated. So I was going to get uh, this Howard's out. I'm a big fan of this product. And uh, give it a shake. Put it a little on a rag and then apply a little bit to our scales. Just kind of see if it brings out the grain just a touch more. So I just got this nasty rag that I don't worry too much about what gets on it. But just a dab is all I need. For as small a knife as we're using here. Not going to require a whole lot. And let's just kind of see if we can bring out these this grain even more. Now, normally you'd maybe leave this on there for like 20 minutes or something like that. But just as a demonstration, I think we'll just kind of leave that there on the one side. And then see if maybe we can see what the difference would be with and without. But overall, really like the Spark model. It's just a, uh, like I say, it's just sort of the standard. Um, you get a really good price on these generally because they make so many of them, much like the Huntsman. I think that the prices are a little more affordable than some of the other two-layer knives that are a little, little more obscure. I wouldn't say obscure, but just not made in the numbers that the Spartan is. A very common one. Now, I actually weighed this knife and compared it with the uh, the white Spartan that I have, and they're exactly the same weight. So the the scales make absolutely zero difference in the overall weight of the knife, in case you were concerned with that. But we're going to wipe that off there and just kind of see if it really made any kind of a difference. These are, you know, pretty well sanded, so I don't know how much uh, stain or oil they would really need. But let's just try it out. Yeah, that... I mean, it already looked good, but I think it looks even maybe better now. I'm drawing out the grain just a little bit more. Let's look at the other side. Yeah, and maybe darkened it just ever so slightly. But you can see it's brought out the grain. And it's just fantastic candles. Love this stuff. So this won't be the last one I get. I'll probably find some other uh, wood-handled Victorinox. They make quite a number of different ones. I talked about the Huntsman earlier. They definitely make one in that. So that could maybe maybe be my uh, next wood-handled Victorinox that I pick up. But I do appreciate you guys watching. That's going to do it for my review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We will see you next time. Take care.